Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how um, you can get an American IP address irrespective of where you live. Um, now, you probably might be aware of this, but every time you connect to the internet, um, you connect via uh, an IP address. It's your unique identifier on the internet. Uh, and this IP address is also used to um, control what you get access to when you go online. <clears throat> now, if you're in the UK, as I am at the moment, you'll get a UK IP address. If you're in connecting from France, you'll get a French IP address, America, an American IP address, and so on. And many, many thousands of websites use this to control access or control what you see. For instance, now, if I go to someone like Google, try, let me try and go to Google. The main Google site, Google.com in America. If I go to that, it goes... Ah, right, you're in the UK, it's looked up my IP address and redirected me to Google UK, okay? Which is good, but because Google UK is, has more appropriate search results for me while I'm in the UK. Uh, but it's not always good, because <clears throat> it's also, your IP address is also used uh, to restrict access to literally thousands of websites. Um, this didn't used to happen. You could basically go to any site, any video, any film, any movie, any YouTube clip, any Facebook page without restriction. It doesn't happen now. Uh, most of, say, the world's biggest media sites, the really cool ones, um, all block access depending on where you're located. So, for instance, to look at some of the really great American media sites uh, like Hulu and stuff like that, you'll need an American IP address. Let's just see what happens if I go there without an American IP address. See, I can go to Hulu. Let me just click on the first thing I see. This is South Park. And click on here. I try and play the movie. I'll get this message. You were currently, but blah, blah, blah. We're sorry. You can only be streamed within the United States. Uh, Hulu's looked up my IP address. Says, hey, you're in um, the UK. You can't watch it. It works the other way. For, a lot of Americans are blocked from a lot of great sites themselves but because uh, they, for instance, BBC iPlayer is only available to UK IP address. So basically it does restrict access to an awful lot of content online and, and uh, crucially some of the really great stuff. Uh, I first use it mostly to to change my IP address uh, when I started using Netflix and I found the American version of Netflix is way, way better than the UK one. But again, depending on your IP address is w whatever version you get. Right, so let me demonstrate this to make it a bit more simple. Okay, well, I'm going to close my browser there and my American IP page, um, and I'm going to show you how I change it. Now, uh, there are there are different methods of using this, and there's some complexities to different areas of it. But basically, most of them center around the fact that you cannot physically change your IP address. That's assigned by your ISP. But what you can do is hide your IP address and make it look as though you're coming from somewhere else. And most of these solutions revolve around things like proxies and VPNs, which is what I'm going to show you here. This is a program called Identity Cloak, which sits in my taskbar here. And basically, it gives uh, I pay a small subscription fee for this. And um, it gives me access to hundreds of servers all over the world. But it allows me to change my PC's IP address at will. Right, how it does this is basically, I don't know if you can see, I've had to obscure the IP addresses here, but you can hopefully see the countries. There's loads and loads of servers all over the world here. <coughs> uh, whenever I need to change my IP address to a different location, I just pick one of these um, different servers. So, for instance, I'm going to choose, I'm, I'm going to show you how to get an American IP address, which is the, kind of the point of this video. So I'm going to double click on this. And this has made a secure, encrypted uh, connection to uh, a US server. Okay, so it's, 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 this program is basically a security um, program, which I use when I'm traveling to make sure I can access my webmail and my bank si banking sites through other people's Wi-Fi and, you know, free hotspots, stuff like that. But it also allows you to change and hide your IP address. So I want an American IP address. Say I want to watch Hulu or I want to watch uh, the American Netflix on my PC. Here I go. And I've now got an American IP address effectively. Right, let me just close this down and I'll restart my browser. Okay, and let me just show you now, 
now everywhere will think I have got an American IP address. So if I go to google.com, instead of get redirecting, I hope you can see, I now go to the US version of um, Google because uh, my IP address has been looked up. They've seen I've got an American IP address, so I get the American version of Google. Great. I mean, that one's not so useful because, in a way, I probably don't want the American version of Google. But for instance, if I want to watch something like Hulu, now with a, an American IP address, I should be able to watch it. Now, let me just go and look at... What did I try and watch? South Park before? South Park before. Remember, I'm in the UK uh, and I got blocked last time. And here I'm going to click and it's going to let me through basically um yeah obviously needs me to oh hang on let me just watch something that's not for mature audiences so i don't have to go through that uh here we go this one presume is okay master chef junior the american version oh no that's a premium one so i need to log in here so i'm making a bit of a hash of this just want to watch one of the uh, simple ones. Here we go. I think this is all right. Yeah, and here, hopefully, I can show you now that you can access it perfectly. Uh, you'll need to um, register for a lot of those. But again, if you register with an American IP address, there's no problem. Uh, and everything will work as, as normal. I mean, to access the premium stuff you still have to pay but Hulu will allow you to watch it if you sign up it also allows you to watch the American version of Netflix again you'll need the uh, an American account let me just stop that you'll need an American uh, a, a Netflix account but it will allow you to switch the different versions so you could switch from the American to the Canadian to the French to the the UK depending on what you want to see uh, the American version of Netflix normally got loads more than everything else and um, works perfectly. So at this moment, everything I do is based on me being in America. So I can go onto Craigslist and post. I can watch YouTube videos that are normally restricted to the US only, all stuff like that. And when I'm finished, I just go back to my browser and I can either disconnect or change to another country. I've been using this for four or five years now. It's extremely advanced, it's great to use. You can also use it on your smartphone, iPad, uh, Android phone, whatever you like. There's slightly different methods. It's in the members area. It's a great little subscription. It costs a few bucks a month. It's well worth it, I can assure you. Uh, there'll be a, a voucher that you can get a discount on it on my video as well. Um, I'm going to disconnect it now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.